Hi, I'm David. I'm one of the developers of Scalar, and today I want to walk you through some of the new features in Scalar 1.5. One of the new features is the new, all new fretboard. Let's select one of the new sounds. We're going to go and select electric guitar. I'm also going to select one of the new chord sets provided by the Temper Trap. I'll go ahead and I'll get the Temper Trap and I'll select uh, the C1. And I'm going to turn on the uh, another new feature, which is the strumming feature. You can also create a chord by selecting the notes you played on the guitar. And Scala will identify the chord for you and allow you to drag it to your progression easy enough. So here I go. Okay, I'm going to switch to the keyboard view because I want to demonstrate another new feature called Scale Lock. Scale Lock locks any notes you are playing into the currently detected scale, which enables you to play chords and melodies at the same time with only two fingers. As you may have already noticed, the new chord editing features introduces one of our most heavily requested features and allows for full creation and customization of chords. And I'm going to uh, drag that A minor chord into the progression builder. And now I can edit that A minor chord and I'm going to add some notes. Um, of course, I can also create um, new chords from scratch. So I'm going to unbind this section so I can see it a bit clearer. I'm going to hit some notes. Scala also features an all new customizable arpeggiator too. You can also select a bunch of uh, timings and patterns. I'm going to select straight sixteenths. So we can also generate parallel harmony. So I'm going to drag down A flat minor eleventh. And now if I right click on that chord, I can generate parallel harmony. One of the other new features which I love is the ability to generate relative chords. Um, let me demonstrate that. So I'm just going to record in a, uh, say, an eerie chord. And let's say I want to do the typical horror thing of going up in minor thirds. So if I click create down here on the right hand side, I want to go up by minor thirds. So I can just quickly create, hit create and go up, select minor thirds and I can keep doing that. So I'm kind of going up non diatonically if you like. I'm um, going up in minor thirds all the way, minor thirds all the way. And when I get to the top, I might um, decide to go up via a tritone, for example to uh, hit the root key. And now I've got that eerie progression, all one hand, all generated nice and easily without any thought. 